Well, hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making you up a meatloaf. I'm going to be doing a couple of substituting. For instance, instead of using grounded beef, I'm going to be using 99% grounded turkey meat. You can use grounded chicken if you'd like, or if not, you could just go ahead and use grounded beef. Now, a couple of things that I wanted to show you what I'll be putting into this meatloaf. I have some chopped onions here, chopped sweet pepper, chopped butter squash, and this is a green butter squash. I also have a teaspoon of garlic here. I'm going to be using one egg and this is some chap celery now guys you could use whatever you like in your meatloaf it does not matter also my substitution will be wheat bread the wheat bread that i'm using is um the hearty 12 grain it is very delicious there's a lot of different wheat bread out there you could go ahead and use whatever you like or you could use whatever you usually put in your meatloaf, white bread or whatever you use. But I'm going to be using this because I'm trying to be healthy. Now the spices that I'm going to be using into my meatloaf mixture is paprika, some salt free seasoning. You could use whatever you like, a little bit of parsley, some accent salt and this accent is MSG free. A little bit of black pepper any one of your choice some salt and you're just going to be using a pinch of vinegar and also you're going I'm going to be using this vegetable oil but you could use corn oil you could use EVO whatever kind of oil you want to use soy oil go ahead and use it all right so let's get started on this meatloaf well guys the first thing I'm going to do is turn the oven on my oven is going to be on 375 and my meatloaf is going to be baked for one hour so my oven is on on 375 so the first thing is you put a little bit of oil in your skillet it's not going to be too much because you don't want to burn your seasoning you go ahead and you add your vegetable in this is the celery chopped onion, the pepper, the butter squash, and your garlic. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and season my vegetables. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley in here. You could put the fresh parsley or the dried parsley if you like. But a half a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of accent. Half a teaspoon of paprika. A pinch of salt. I don't like to cook with too much salt. Everybody know that. And I'm going to add some black pepper half a teaspoon of my salt free fat now what I'm going to do here is turn this on low heat it's going to be like almost off because I want this not to burn, I want it to cook golden brown tender. Okay, so I'm gonna just see how this looks, guys. Just like that. And I'm gonna get every every three to four minutes, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna check it. But I'll get back with you guys when it's finished. See you in a few minutes. So now our vegetables have been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes on low. Heat, very low heat and it's just perfect nice and tender all the vegetables are cooked through and through next is add just maybe about a half of a teaspoon of vinegar that's gonna the vegetables just gonna soak right through and give it a better nicer 
flavor to the veggies. It's three slices of whole wheat bread. And I'm cutting it like this because I want it to go, the, the season and the flavor from the veggies to go through and soak right through the bread. I don't want to take my hands and break it up. I want to make it into like cube sizes, tiny sizes so it's toasted. So there we go. Make sure you don't make it too big. And then you take those three slices up and you put it into your seasoning. Okay, so the bread is in and it's going to be blended together with the veggies. Soak right through. What I'm looking for is the bread to be toasted. All the flavors from the garlic and all the spices are going to just marinate right through. And this is going to be for another like three to four minutes. Not very long. All done. It's been on here for four to five minutes. So what I'm going to do next is just go ahead and add one egg into my turkey. And then my seasoning bread and everything I'm just going to go ahead and pour it right into my mixture. All at the same time. Get all that good stuff that's sitting in the bottom of the pot right into the mixture. I always start from the bottom to the top. Okay. You're not making a dough. You're just folding. That's all you're doing, folding. Okay. And let everything come together. Just folding. Okay. And that's pretty good. Alright. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next, I have one of those disposable foil can. It's nice to make breads and all that stuff in there, so... When I use this, I'm just going to throw it out. So this is what I do. You remember it's nicely folded, so you're just going to go ahead and just put it in the, the container. Okay, just kind of pat it down. Pat it in there. Make sure that everything is in. Okay, and then I'm just going to use this finger and just make a little indentation right in the corner. Because when I put my toppings on here, it's going to need room to finish baking in the oven. Alright, so this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the topping for the meatloaf. Okay, so now I'm going to make the glaze for the meatloaf. And that should finish off the dish before I put it in the oven. I'm going to use one teaspoon of lemon juice. You could use the one from the bottle. You could use the fresh lemon. Just a, a couple of squeeze because that is, has, is more strong. So, and then I'm going to use a teaspoon of vinegar. Now you could use any mustard sauce that you have in your kitchen. I'm using the honey mustard. I'm going to use two teaspoon of honey mustard and I'm also going to use two teaspoon of ketchup and I'm just going to whisk this together okay now we're just going to lay it all over the top of the meatloaf Get all of that out. And just spread it evenly. Okay. Now it's ready to go in the oven. And I'm going to let this bake on 375 for one full hour. So I'll see you back in an hour.
and when I finish up this dish. So guys, here you go. Your meatloaf has been cooking for an hour and this is the finishing of what it looks like. I'm going to put everything on the dish and I'll meet you back here to let you see how I get everything all okay, together. Okay guys, so this is how our meatloaf looks. It's really nice and juicy. I'm serving it either with potatoes or rice. To the side I have some jelly cranberry. So it's very sweet. It's going to cook it up a notch, a big notch with the the dish okay so from my kitchen again guys to yours enjoy